many families, rites of summer usually include things like getting ice cream or catching a ball game and taking that much needed vacation. And today's show is all about those day trips that you can take with the entire family. Nearly every summer, hundreds of thousands of people flock to the Pocono Mountains. Why? Because they're looking for the biggest, the baddest, and the best in whitewater rafting. And if that's what you're looking for, then you're gonna love our first getaway because we're exploring this majestic terrain by way of the river that runs through it. It's no water park. Rafting down the Lehigh River is the real deal. And a family can do just that at Pocono Whitewater. We do a multitude of trips. We do, um, we start on the family style adventure, which is what you guys are going on today. Okay. Beginning age level is four years old. It's class two experience. It's a good introduction to whitewater. It's on these cool, clean waters that you'll find miles of beautiful class one, two, and three rapids. We wanted to get out of the city and come do something fun. Outdoorsy. Enjoy the water. It's a good entry level. It's something to get you accustomed. You know, we being so close to the cities, we get some people that haven't really been outside of a swimming pool. Be safe on the water. I think we can do that. All right, let's All right. go. All right. If you've never been rafting, now's a good time to listen up. I want to welcome you all here to Pocono Whitewater. Novice or not, everyone is first schooled in safety. From the lesson... If you fall out in white water today, float on your back, put your feet up, and just go downstream. To the vests, to the guides. That guy's name is Dustin right there. Say hi to Dustin. Hey, guys. Hey, Dustin. We set out in teams of six, but before we can launch, we need to first nominate a captain. Ours is River Guide and Unwrapped Entertainment. It's gonna be a hot day, my big boy, <laughs> Ryan. He's making sure we all stay aboard and are headed in the right direction. Over the course of our trip, we'll navigate a series of 17 different rapids. And part of the trip's charm are the natural rock formations along the way. These geological gems can spice things up or put your raft's teamwork to the test. Point rapid number one. stuck on a lot of rocks yes. in the beginning. <laughs> the company has its own photographer that takes a professional picture that can capture you coming down your very first rapid. Now that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Ours has got to be like, oh, <laughs> you know, what are you doing? It's easy to get caught up in the action, but one of the best parts of the trip are the surroundings. And what are some of the things that we'll be seeing along the way? Um, you're going to see some wildlife. There's possibly some ducks, some geese, possibly a deer or two. We have seen bear. While there's plenty of wildlife to look out for on the Lehigh, guides say much of it will be in the river with you, with some of the best fishing spots in the state to catch the long sought after big one. How big are we talking? Anywhere from, I think they got to be six inches to keep. Okay. And they can go up to about 15. Woo! Temperatures of the Lehigh River usually reach about 60 degrees. <laughs> and after a mile of paddling, that's good news, since there's a chance that at some point you're going to end up in it. So there are many ways to enjoy the river without your paddle. You can just slide right in on a portion of water that's like this where it's really calm and you just put your feet up and relax. While some families are all about taking that quiet dip, others see the serenity as the perfect time to wage water warfare. The most surprising and most fun part of today, I think, has been the water fights. We had a big water fight. We teamed up on this one boat. We, we had, had pizza in a little thing and we were eating lunch and somebody drilled us. To cap off the day, we stop along the banks for lunch. A great way to recharge and refuel 
before heading into the home stretch of our trip. You get the lunch, you get five hours, six hours of just being together, and instead of everybody looking at their clock saying, I'll meet you at this place at an amusement park, we're all kind of forced to all interact. It makes you remember how to work together instead of everybody going their own way. Baseball practice, karate, whatever. So how long does it take to do the eight miles around? Three and a half, four hours. Three and a half, four hours. There's a lot of variables, like does the group get out and swim more? Mm -hmm. does, does the guides keep it at a slower pace? Is the water running at higher, faster levels? The Lehigh is a beautiful contradiction. In some spots, it's a lazy river, and in others, a high adrenaline, rapid rushing ride. What's your favorite part so far, Nick? Probably the white water. What about you? The swell. It's like experiencing a one of a kind adventure that's one part roller coaster and one part bumper cars, all while having the time of your life.